Ah, uh, welcome back everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Horror of Darkness, The Apocalypse with Zombies! Woo ha 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 Oh guys, I love that laugh. It's gonna be like my new favorite laugh of the se of the of the of the, of the new season of Victoria 2. So anyways guys, as you guys know, we are about to start the war in Mexico and the world and also the world is slowly just being destroyed and rippled apart by all the zombie lands and the zombies and whatever. I'm about to go establish my own American Empire, so I feel quite proud of myself. So the first step of that new American Empire is that we have to go take out, take care of the Mexicans. So let's go deal with that. And the first state I want to conquer back is let's finish out Mexican Texas. Okay, calling my allies. My allies should join in. I've helped them out so many times with their with their troubles. All right, I'm gonna go send this army instantly in to go crush that one. Gonna go send this army instantly in to go crush that army. We're just going to try to destroy all of the uh, Mexican armies immediately. Um, and I don't have to worry about any more. Uh, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. Okay, guys. A um, minute ago, I just did a really weird like clip there where I just like was going, Ew. Um, Basically, that was my mom telling me that I have to be quiet. So I'm going to be talking in my usual quiet monotone voice um i don't usually t like you know new guys people i don't usually talk in this voice unless you know this requires it unless my mom wants me to be quiet so yeah that's what i'm gonna do um right now apparently we don't have we don't have to put any more people in ohio to make you know capitalists but i should think we should put some more capitalists in ohio virginia seems to also be doing well so we're gonna put some more capitalists here too and let's get back to the game. Um, yeah, we're invading from two fronts, so that should create a really good, you know, duo attack. Um, I mean, I, d I don't imagine that we're gonna have too much difficulty fighting off all the Mexican armies. Um, they're not particularly um, threatening in terms of manpower or anything. Um, the only army that's kind of threatening is that one right there, which I'm going to go crush right now. Because that's, that's a little bit too big of an army. And we really need to go, like, you know, take care of that. So let's go send our men in. Oh, it seems like they're really all avoiding fighting me. That's kind of nice, but I'm really trying to get in a confrontation with you guys. Okay, it seems like they're not going to move over from there. So we're going to be able to engage them right there in Kirkland. Really, you guys are going to be able to get in, say, Carson City, 1717. Uh... Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, that is so cheap. That is so cheap. I mean, they're escaping just by one day. I mean, seriously, that's just cheap. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna split off one of my one of my uh, horsemen, which should get there way faster than the other guys, and be able to just engage them long enough to where they actually start fighting us. Over here, I'm moving in from the bottom down. Um, so that way they actually fight him. That's what I want to do is I want to fight these guys so we can start destroying the army. So I'm going to send in one soldier prior to the engagement to just go in and just go hold them there so we can kill them. Alright, anyways, um, yeah, and then the bigger army arrives. What? How are they beating me? Okay, that's a really weird battle right there. How did... I mean, I'm supplying my men with as much force as I can give them. I don't understand how they just beat me. Um, that was a very weird encounter. Um, Santa Fe. Chase them down to Santa Fe, and then combine all of them. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Did I get a bad command? No, the defense, everything was fine. It's just, maybe the morales were a little bit different. I don't know. Um, let's move in right over there. It seems like Central America, like, mobilized. I don't know why. Seems like kind of pointless because it's gonna be it's not gonna be that long of a war. Um, if it was gonna be that long of a war, I would have in much bigger plans to debate. Like, right. the other supplies have been based out, commerce, um, mining output. Should I get that? No. It seems like we do need a little bit more uh, militaristic plans. Some militaristic organization would be a really good technology to get. And let's start moving in. 
I hate playing this game of hot potato, of like hot potato with these soldiers. That's the one thing I hate about, like the fact they can all just get away. Okay, and they're moving down to Las Cruces, sending my men to go kill them in Las Cruces. Um, these men are right here, go kill these guys. They seem to not be wanting to move, that's good, that means we can easily destroy them. Yep, we can easily destroy them. <laughs> oh gosh, this, this must be like a terrible day for Mexico, I mean, I'm just, I'm just rapidly going in. It's not even like, fair how fast I'm moving in. Um, seems to be a 22k stack right there, that's not good. A 15k stack right there, that's not good. Where are they getting this army from? I really want... <laughs> I really don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. Makes me feel like I'm gonna have to like do major expansion to get everything right. John Joseph Hughes, apparently a bish a bishop of New York, apparently went over to zombieism. Uh, not it's very much frowned upon in our culture, so not cool man, you never go over to zombieism. And I'm just and by the way I don't actually know what the event is, I'm just kinda BSing my way through this. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay, because I did really not want to be that event, because I'm more interested right now in the war. Okay, you guys, go down here and go kill these guys. Go kill, go kill the Mexican army. Uh, yeah, so they only want peace. That's good. Ooh, this might be slaughter on my part. Yeah, we're going to have to keep just slightly... Okay, we're going to keep it. Yes, we are going to keep slightly better relations. Alright, um, Colombia seems to also be in this war, but... I doubt Colombia is ever going to join in. Um, <laughs> all right, Mexico is now the fourth great power of the world. Good job, Mexico. Too bad I'm still going to rip you guys to shreds. So let's just keep adding all of our war goals. Because I'm just, I'm gonna get, like I said, I'm gonna get everything in this war. I'm planning on getting every little piece of America out of this war. I'm also gonna go attack these guys down there. And it seems like they finally sent a decent-sized army to come and face us down here. So let's see, as soon as they break off this 20 and 13 stack, I'm going to go in and go attack them. Uh, okay. So once, actually once Vista Cruz finishes Conquest, I'm then going to go in and go attack them. Okay. Now that we got this done, go attack them from there, and go attack them from there. So that way we got two prolonged attacks. I'm not sure they'll be able to escape both. And that should be like two armies crushing in on them. Yeah, that's going to lose. All right, and then up here they seem to have conquered a little bit of my land. Not really enough to really make me worry. Let's go in, go take them down. The morale is pretty low, so even if even if it is mountainous terrain, I should be able to win that handily. Okay, maybe not. Wait, yeah, there we go. There we go. Just had to wait for the initial debt slots to end. Um, forced to repay debts. I have that on them. Martopsa, um, go follow them. And then my troops are gonna move up here, gonna go destroy these guys up there. That should be the last um, semi-good army over here. All right, and now I'm gonna go send both these armies to go over here to go take out this army right there, of Mexico. Um, it's gonna be losing for a little bit, I know that. Ooh, for, ooh, it's losing pretty badly. But with the rest of the men coming in, okay, I'm going to also combine. Where are they moving to? Archipico. Uh, that, I butchered that name right there. Uh, okay, and we're moving our soldiers in right there. Alright, moving to, uh, to um, Alamosa. And then we're going to divide right here. Divide, sending half our men to go in right now, and then half the men to go in later. Okay, no, they retreat. Okay, that's not good. Over here though, I think we slotted up all the rest of the men, so I'm going to divide the men. And go send half of them go down here. I don't. How is this even? Like, evens like this. Two, three. That's more even than what they had. There we go. Yeah. Uh, what the? I don't know what the AI is coming up with. But that was totally not even. Okay. Seems like they switched directions on us. Wow. Okay. I'm going to divide the men. Is that even? Yes, that's more even than what they had with God's thing. And then we're going to move up. We're right next to Mexico City, and I just got reinforcements. I don't know how that happened, but we did. We're going to go send in more of our soldiers. This should... This is almost... I think this is almost the last army they have. I mean, I think they... I think this is generally the last army they have. There's that army up there, which I'm going to go attack with this army right here. 
But yeah, I think that's it. And I'm going to keep adding my own war goals. There seems to be a Bohemian War over here going on. Kind of interesting. Nevada. Nevada provinces. Oh gosh, I'm going to try to take everything in this world right now. Okay, get that. Okay, and then we're going to try to defeat Mexico up there. Hopefully that will work so I don't have to go send in more men. Okay, now that we don't have to have both our men right here, I can now just go divide them. And now we can just peacefully conquest everything of Mexico without any, without any trouble at all. Looks like they're retreating to Denver. I'm going to go send my men after them. And yeah, the girls from Wheeling, how unfortunate. <laughs> Seems like they are, they do have a 15 stack which they just sent at my army. Uh, I actually don't think they're going to win, but just in case, I'm going to go send in more of my men. Okay, and yeah, it looks like they're not going to win. Yeah, they definitely did not win. And now they're moving to San Francisco, which I'll send more men to go after that. And it seems like we destroyed the rest of the men up here, so I'll go conquer Albuquerque again and go conquer Santa Fe. And then I'll look over here and see if there's any big armies over here. And nope. And any big armies down here? Nope. And yeah, this is the rest of the conquest. Uh, redrawing constitutionaries uh, becomes more conservative, or let's just do that. <laughs> Alright, uh, add another war goal. Add, er, add New Mexico. Definitely want to add New Mexico. New Mexico is a very important state to the Mexican concession. Alright, and just keep conquesting, and yeah. We're basically going to get all of this in one gigantic war. Uh, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously not going to deny people. I love this right now. Alright, I'm also going to go attack these guys, actually. Let's go destroy the rest of their army. Oh, good. They're actually going to pin themselves in one little place. Let's just go hit them right there. Yes, I got them. And now I'm just going to destroy their army right there. And that should be the last Mexican army. Because I don't think they have anything else. Yeah, that's the last one. Wow. You make quick works of this. Alright. And... Just have to wait for a second. Have to wait for the uh, armies to finish up destroying. And it seems like the army got away. But Venezuela went bankrupt. I think they're also about to vanish from the map. But... We won't go into that. And one more region I have to add. Add in Arizona. There we go. Now I have all my war goals added to here. So if they want to give me everything I just asked for, then I'll concede, then I'll basically say that we'll consider a peace deal. But until they do that, I'm not really going to consider it because, I don't know, I just won't. <laughs> uh, and we just got more army professionalism. I think actually I'm going to... Uh, Hold off on getting a new technology since we are really, really close to getting, um... Well, I just want to be we're really, really close to getting, um, breech-loaded rifles, which is something we need to go and start colonizing these places. So I think I'm going to hold off from getting a technology for one year. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's definitely what I mean. So, yeah, for one year we won't have anything to do in technology. Our scientists are just going to be bored out of their minds. Maybe they'll create a Gladys in the, in the 18th centuries and, the, and they'll start doing do massive amounts of testing. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I can't agree. That's kind of scary. <laughs> the test would not be pleasant or, or kind. Oh, that's scary. Alright, seems like we're having really bad war exhaustion, but we're slowly... We're about... We're almost done with this war. We just have to wait for Mexico to say, yep, I'm done. And we have to wait for Colombia to completely vanish from the map, apparently. They're not all dead. That kind of stinks. I was kind of hoping that they'd be all dead, and the world has almost basically become what it's going to look like in the future. It's looking quite lovely, actually. With all that white, and all that beautiful uncolonized land that we can go in, and it seems like we're losing tons of money because of our taxation. Most likely due to our taxation. I could break my economy right now if I do, that, if I do a couple things, but I won't. I'm just going to get the rest of the land I need, and I'm going to get out. You seem to be wanting to conquest that. You go in right there, go get that. Uh, you guys, we're almost there to conquer Mexico City. That should give us enough war score. I mean, these guys should be nearing wanting to give up, honestly. We've almost basically surrounded them. This, is, this wasn't even really... Oh, shoot, Zombles. 
Zombies faction. Oh no, it's just a Mexican citizen guard. Okay, I thought it was zombies. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> that would've been scary to take zombies. SA demands ads, the banks. Let's move down a little bit more. Responsa. Okay, you guys are gonna accept everything I gave you guys. Okay, good. Let's proceed. What? You guys didn't give me. Oh, Mexico, you guys just sealed your guys' death warrant. That means I'm going to have to de declare war on you guys again in five years. Oh gosh, why couldn't you guys just accept me taking over? Because now, now you guys know I'm going to go after you. Okay, well, I'm going to move my armies into here and then my previous armies. I think with these guys. Yeah, you guys move back down here because we're going to have to go protect this land again. And now we're just going to relax and take in our new conquest land from from the Mexican concession. We almost took everything I wanted in this war. We just need a little bit more. And now we can get breach to load rifles. I just realized that. Shoot, I was a little bit behind times, guys. Sorry. And apparently we're starting to owe ourselves a lot. So I'm going to spend less on administration power. Maybe like... Uh, 54? Maybe, maybe just a little bit less on... Militaristics. What's costing us the most? Um, spending on navy. No, what's costing us the most? Well, maybe we could get some tariffs out of this. Maybe that would help. Nope, that did not help. Um, keeping our economy as it is seems to be hurting ourselves a lot more than it's actually um, preventing a economy collapse. So I'm going to put our militaristics at 49. So right now we basically stopped a lot of gigantic hordes from forming. We need to figure out how to get this back into positives. Yearly earnings due. Paraguay goes bankrupt. Well, it's about to vanish. Again, I keep pointing this out. These countries are about to vanish. Of course, they're going to go bankrupt. And look at all that white. Oh, but it seems like the UK is going to be able to survive itself. That kind of stinks. I was hoping that they would kind of vanish off that island so that I could just go in and go conquer it all. Well, maybe next time. No, I mean, it could still happen, but it's probably not going to happen the way I want it to. Algeria is going to be my new best friend apparently and apparently I'm importing a lot and exporting a lot that's good that is very good uh, okay so close oh shoot why are you guys not doing anything that's the zombies you guys go kill the zombie horde this is really overkill but go kill them make sure they do not form anymore okay then combine and divide okay go send half the army right over here half the army right over there and with that, we have seemed to just take over everything. We just need to take over that last little state of Arizona, and then we basically have everything that we're supposed to have. Uh, actually, we're a couple years behind in terms of the Mexican-American War. That's okay, we were dealing with zombies. And I think dealing with zombies was a slightly more important thing to do than dealing with our own personal stuff. And apparently our economy is starting to take off a little bit, which is good. Um, state mode. What should we move in next? Uh, we're a little bit weak in the comments section, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a uh, market structure. So we have lots of laborers, and let's see, can we finally start colonizing? Colonizing. Okay, we need to get mission to civilize. Oh gosh, not this again. <laughs> Last time I took this event, it took me years to get it. Come on, guys. Okay, let's see. Let me first pay off all my loans. So I have no interest from the bank, and let me just see, how close are you guys to discovering these important things, like how close are you guys to discovering mission to civilize, um, have invented nationalism and imperialism, has invented market regulations, okay so I need market regulations to give this any kind of chance of discovering, and for breach armament, this might discover any time 5 years, so I need to discover market regulations which means I actually do need to check down there, great. Or would I, is there anything other cheaper? Is there any cheaper one I could do? Uh, market regulations, nationalism, imperialism, or naval statistics. Naval statistics um, might be slightly quicker. So let's go naval statistics. I actually almost have that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even intend to. I actually have that almost lined up. And apparently USCA wants to join us. Uh, I didn't even know. Okay, apparently they just became friendly with us. I didn't even do anything. And apparently there's a gigantic war going on in Europe for like the rest of the resources that they apparently have. Good for you guys. Good for you guys. 
And with that, everyone, this was another episode, so I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the future where Mega will go in and go conquer everything. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.